Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the 7.2 PTR, where we're going to be looking at artifact knowledge and artifact power, because holy cow, things have changed. Now I gave this a little bit of time, I kind of hoped this would change relatively quickly and these were maybe placeholder for a little while, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So, artifact knowledge is now going to go all the way up to 50, and it's kind of been shifted around so that it's more exponential than it was before, and it is less linear. So, if you're on a TLDR, basically, of how this system is working, remember that we had two grinds, basically, with our artifact weapons. We had 1 to 35, which was very exponential, and those requirements jumped up in huge leaps to the point where it wasn't really worth farming for the majority of people, for probably 99% of us, it wasn't worth farming until we got the next artifact knowledge because that also went up exponentially, and what you could do in the previous week, you could essentially do, you know, twice, three times, four times as fast the next week when you got your next artifact knowledge level. That's kind of what they're going with. So, the 35 to 54 grind that we have right now is pretty linear. The artifact power requirement doesn't really increase that much with each level, and obviously we're kind of stuck with AK-25 anyway. So that creates a scenario where you have a very linear time spent for power increase dealio here. Now, the problem with that is that people are encouraged basically to grind that out because those traits are incredibly powerful. What is now happening is our new 7.2 grind is being shifted from that 35 to 54 linear grind into that 1 to 35 exponential grind. So basically when you get your new artifact knowledge levels you are going to be able to do everything so much faster to the point where it might not even be worth going for the traits that you can get right now because in five days time you could do it four times faster anyway. So I have some artifact knowledge levels to kind of give you an idea right now. We are at 25 still and I have two notes to use. So 25 is 24,900% and we'll use a note to go up to 26. Bear in mind this is just one note going up to 26 and that already goes up to 100,000%. So that's already increased fourfold just from 25 to 26. Now let's go to 27 and we go up another 30,000%. So you can see how the amount of AP that you're going to get from a token is just going to skyrocket with every single artifact knowledge level you get to the point where at AK50, which is our new cap, which increases your AP by 55,200,000%, a normal boss token right now at AK25 gives us 125k artifact power. At AK50, that would give you 276 million artifact power. We are dealing with ludicrous numbers here at this point. It's absolutely ridiculous. So basically, if you get to AK50 and you get a single token from a normal boss, you can pretty much then upgrade your new artifact with everything that we've done in 7.15, excluding everything that comes new in 7.2. Like, that is an insane amount of artifact power. That is just bonkers artifact power. In case you're wondering about alts, everything to do with our catch-up mechanic that we have right now, so you can buy a tome for five levels lower than what your main has, that's going to continue. So as soon as you get to 50 on your main, you can automatically buy 45 for all of your alts. Meaning that what I just said of you getting one token and basically killing out half of your artifacts with one token, that's going to happen. That's going to happen. So I've got a few other stats for you. Now, we've got a new kind of infinite trait. It comes after these new traits here. So it's called Concordance of the Legion Fall, and it's got 50 ranks this time, which, I mean, don't ever expect to fill out 50 ranks anytime soon. Concordance of Legion Fall is going to be a proc-based trait instead of just a flat percentage increase, and it starts by increasing your primary stat, all versatility for tanks, by 2,000 for 10 seconds, 
And obviously, because that's a proc, that's going to be delightfully random. So we'll see how that plays out. But to get that, you'll need to go through all the new ones. So you need to get your one of one here, your four of four, then your next one of one, your golden trait, and then you can put one into concordance of legion fall. So it's going to be pretty easy to get. You'll get that pretty quickly. But then you will probably want to go back and increase all of your other traits to four of four, especially the damage ones, because concordance of legion fall increases with very small increments. So those 50 ranks altogether, I believe they go up to about 11,800 on your primary stat from 2,000. So the increase with each trait isn't necessarily going to be worth it. Once again, coming back to, is that really going to be worth grinding your tits off to get all that artifact power to, you know, get just a teeny weeny weeny increase to your DPS, whereas right now, it's not really that much more of a grind to get up to 54 with each trait, and it increases your damage by 0.5%, just baseline, that's it. So, I don't think it's going to be worth grinding a great deal, and I think these artifact knowledge barriers, essentially, are going to stop you grinding, because why grind it now when it's going to be four times faster next week? You know, it's going to be that attitude all the way up to AK50, and then by the looks of things, we'll be just drowning artifact power anyway. But if you were curious about, you know, everything, what does it cost to get 4 or 4 in everything and 50 in Concordance of Legion Fall? <laughs> well, it will cost you 865 trillion artifact power to unlock everything. So if you just want the 43 traits, which is going to be everything in here, plus everything in here, and then one in Concordance of Legion Fall, so everything new and one in Concordance, basically, that will be 186 million artifact power. Meaning we might not see that anytime soon, because we're going to need those artifact knowledge levels to really make it worthwhile grinding the artifact power. So we've essentially moved away from forcing people to grind for a minor increase, to making it not worth grinding for that minor increase, because you really want these artifact knowledge levels, and to do this they just basically increase everything. So now we actually have a larger grind, but it's such a large grind that it's probably not worth doing until it's made easier by artifact knowledge levels. So I guess that's really what they were going for, but why or why do we have to deal with such huge numbers? 276 million artifact power tokens, I mean why was that ever... what? I, d I don't understand how we got to this point, I really don't think it's necessary, but that is artifact power and artifact knowledge changes how ludicrously crazy they are, and basically why you won't be farming your traits the same way you are right now when 7.2 comes. So, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or hop on over to Discord. We have a server over at discord.gg slash Kalani. Great place to come ask questions, or just hang out. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun and as always I will see you next time.